Rachel? Ray. What have we been up to this week? It's no wonder I went mental, is it? I don't think I'm strong enough to make it on my own. Why didn't you tell me you were back? You've got to come to the pub tonight with me and the gang. This is Ray. Hiya. Hi. I'm Archie. Hi, Archie. You don't want people thinking you're weird, do you? You don't want people thinking you're not normal. Dear Diary, it had been two days since the pool party and still Chloe hadn't mentioned the hospital tag. Ray! <laughs> but I had a terrible feeling that was all about to change. Thanks for meeting sweets. I just really need to talk to you about something. got a boyfriend. <sighs> I thought you wanted to talk about something serious. No, well, it is serious, Ray. Proper serious. It's not Archie, is it? No, it's not Archie. It's someone who... Oh, look, I can't tell you, babe. Not yet. But I just wanted you to know, because you're my Bessie and I hate keeping secrets from you. Well, don't be like that. Like what? Ray, you will find a boyfriend. How? How will I ever find a boyfriend? All right, come here. Sit down. All right. My sister used to be big. So I know what this is like. And I know that boys don't like it. And it's not right, but that's just the way they are. You know, they think if they go out with someone who's big, then the other lads will just take the piss. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Yeah, come here. Come on. Give a hug. I am a body dysmorphic without the dysmorphic. I am a bulimic without the sick. I am fat. The Tyrannosaurus of sexiness was coming to sit next to me. I wanted him to treat me like that little goat in Jurassic Park and just eat me whole. Save me from this conversation, please. Why? <laughs> What's everyone talking about? Orgasms. That'd be my special subject on Mastermind. I've never had an orgasm. It's exactly the same as sneezing eight times. Is it bollocks? It's true. And when I come, I come with Thunder Pal. Once you get him out, the SWAT team can't get him back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What about the girls you're doing it with? I sam off it, mate. I threw her around. I've run all five like she's an empty shell suit. <laughs> Why are you to me such a horrible you boy all the time? <laughs> Like, I'm not saying I've done everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, like an orgasm is like a gateway. You can never go back through. Like, it sets you free as a person, doesn't it? It's all like that. I've got an idea. Why don't we all talk about our best sexual and romantic experiences? Great, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, no, Ray. Ray, you go first. I've got, um, I've got to put the tea on from my mum, sorry guys. What, what, hey, I'll get you a drink. No, it's alright. Come on, you only just got it. What are you <laughs> Thanks to Chloe, it was now clear to everyone that I had never done anything sexual or romantic. The 15th of July, 1996. Something had to be done. One, pass through the mystical orgasm gateway. Two, see someone naked. Three, kiss someone. Must be human. I didn't even see anything. She saw everything. Ray, did you see Mrs. Dewar's credentials? She's always peeping. I didn't. You did. Were you staring at her? No, I opened the curtains and she was just standing there. Oh, I beg your pardon. Hey, I beg your pardon. I'm very sorry. You were. Fed up with it. Why would I peep? What is there to even peep at? Ray, be quiet. It was typical. The first time I catch a glimpse of another person's bits and it's my 76-year-old neighbours. <laughs> A romantic milestone burn into my retinas. Right. First off, Ray isn't going to peep anymore. But I didn't peep. Just... <sighs> Second off, she'll run a few errands for you to apologise for any embarrassment. How's that? Living in the totalitarian state of mum was worse than being in prison. At least there are laws to protect prisoners. Any kind of human right I am entitled to is always swept away by one single phrase. And don't pull that face at me, Rachel Earl. So long as you live under my roof, you live by my rules. Throughout the bank, we got Steve outside, kind of full pack, and everything's cool and everything's smooth. My mum's in a sham relationship. She's going out with this guy, and he's like handsome and fit and stuff. But she, she's like me. She's a blob, a blob with a gob. Is that how you see yourself? It's how I am. Tell me some things that you like about yourself. <sighs> anything. I can't think of anything. All right, if I was to ask one of your friends what they liked about you, what do you think they would say? They would say, what the bloody hell are you asking me that for? I've noticed that every time you come into this room, you take the longer way around to that chair. I thought maybe you're trying to avoid that mirror over there. Hmm. Maybe you should open a detective agency. Yeah, maybe I should. Hardly anyone likes looking in a mirror. In fact, no one likes looking in a mirror. You know what, Ray? I'm 47 years old and I still get blackheads. I got bags under my eyes that make me look like I've battled a lifelong addiction to heroin. But having said that, I do look fantastic. Yeah, I look great. You know what? 
Perfect wouldn't be a stretch too far. I think I look perfect. Are you trying to make me hurt you? I want you to make it your mission to look in the mirror every day. And no matter how many things you see that you don't like, I want you to say something positive about yourself. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Do you know what? It's just weird. Is it more or less weird than being physically unable to look at your own reflection? I'm not doing it. All I'm asking is that you I'm try not your... fucking doing it. What do you like about me? I like everything about you. Mm, be more specific. I can't. There's nothing I don't like about you. You're lovely. But unhelpful. <laughs> Tix. Danny. What? Danny, let go of her arm. People fall to bits sometimes. That's what they do. But I'm not broken. Not anymore. Sorry. Why did she look at me like that when she gave me my prescription? Like it's just the pill, it's no big deal. I think she looks at everyone like that. I was about a whistling lollipop from there and she looked at me like I'd farted in an empty bag of Monster Munch and just squashed it in her face. Nah, it's because it was the pill. I know it. I can't believe I'm going to be doing it, Ray. This weekend. Oh, shit. Shit. So we're going to talk about the pool party? What about the pool party? Well, I found that hospital tag thing. I wished for the ground to swallow me up. For a piano to fall from the heavens and crush Chloe deep into the earth. But the weird thing was, something even more incredible happened. Hi, hi. Hi, Archie. Hi. Ray, I wanted to talk to you the boozer last night before I could speak to you. I just, uh... Wanted to know if you wanted to come out for a drink with me tomorrow night. Just me and you. Wasn't expecting that. What to say? Yeah? Fuck yeah? A thousand fucks, yeah! Is that yes or no? Yeah. Why not? Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll meet you this one at eight. To the ward. Kester says I have to prove to him that I'm not going to freak out again. Let's talk about something else. So tell me about Archie. Well, he's an Aries, which is perfect because I'm a Sagittarius and he prefers Oasis to Blur, but he quite liked park life because it reminded him of this holiday that he had in Corfu. And he wants to study history at university because he wants to be like a historian. And he's always coming out with these amazing quotes from like Alexander the Great and stuff. Takes this could be it. This could be the real thing. I would be nervous about it though. Boys move pretty fast, don't they? He might want to touch you. Uh, Tix, are you forgetting that I really want him to? Well, yeah, but think about it. You could be naked in front of each other tonight. You could be looking at him naked thinking, what do I do now? What do I do with that? But if I do something to it that it doesn't like, that's not forgetting the fact that you'll be naked. I will be breaking it, Ray. Honey, breaking it. Oh, my God. 
bollocks to looking in a mirror and whispering sweet nothings to myself. If I wanted Archie to touch me, it was imperative there was a lot less of me to touch. Oh Christ. I'm the Tyrannosaurus of sex. Clever girl. Something must be done. Only one album would get my fat ass moving. It was time for greatness. something that you want to tell me? No. Not even in regards. Yes? That's for my mum. Not even in regards. Please. Don't look at me. It's for my mum. It's not even that you're spreading rumours that I'm some kind of sex maniac. It's that to be a sex maniac, you have to have a man. And as the man I've got is currently on the run from immigration, it's not something I want spread around town. I am... Um... It's not just those things. It's the fact that I come home after a long day cleaning up the sick and the piss of the infirmed and injured to find that you have thrown away 35 pounds worth of confectionery for no reason! I... Uh... Shushed! I don't know what game you're playing at, but you're grounded for 24 hours, effective immediately. I can't. I mean so the keys on the table. He's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. And some skinny bitch will see him all alone at the bar, dry his tears and shag him in the toilets. <laughs> Archie? I'm wearing a towel in rainbow. I look like a tube of toothpaste. 
Wait, what happened? I'm really sorry, Archie. My mum won't let me come out. Why? So I threw away a few of the chocolate bars. Uh, what's going on now? I won't tell her. Oh, I don't know. She knows everyone in Stanford. If we go to the pub, she'll only find out. I know somewhere else we can go. Right here. Okay. There aren't many good things about working early shifts at a leisure centre. Well, there are some. Just keep that pretty mouth moving. That was really what put an end to the sport. If it hadn't been for that, maybe we'd have jousting areas and leisure centres all over Britain, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I being boring again? No. I like listening to you talk about stuff. It was incredible what Archie's tongue felt like. Like a small, warm animal darting around inside my mouth. In that one kiss, I was so free. Free of people telling me what to do. Free of hospitals. Free of myself. Archie, your hand is on my boob. Does it feel good? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. We'll be allowed out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm on parole tomorrow. Well, if you can, uh, meet me tomorrow evening for tea in the cafe outside the cinema. Uh, my parents are away at the moment, so, uh, well, afterwards maybe we could go back to mine. It was too good to be true. If it wasn't for the fact that I found two new spots, I'd think I was dreaming. Someone likes me. Not just someone, Archie. The professor of horn likes me. I don't get it, but I love, love, love it. Who? Mrs. Dewhurst. Guess who she saw coming in at one o'clock in the morning with a boy last night? Who? I don't know when you thought, but going out with a boy and doing God knows what till God Why knows Why is what... it all right for you to have a boyfriend, but not for me? I've got to put up with Kareem every bloody day. <sighs> what is wrong with Kareem? He's constantly in a state of semi-nudity. Why is he even here? Why is he going out with you? I just don't get it. There's nothing to get. He loves me. Fair enough. Jo, I'm sick to the back teeth of you taking the piss out of me. I'm your mum, not your school friend, not your sister, your mum. Are we done? No, we're not done. You're grounded. Not just for today, not just for tomorrow, but for forever. Until I say stop. You can't do that. I can do that, because this is my house, and you're living yeah, on... Yeah, it might be your house, and I might live under your roof, but 
you not grounding me? End of. Three weeks ago, Ray, you were in a psychiatric ward. It's my job to keep an eye on you, to make sure you don't do too much too soon, to make sure you don't break again. But you know what? Fine. You obviously know better than me. Do what you want. talking absolute bollocks. Orgasms, I mean, a sneeze isn't even nice, so how can eight of them be an orgasm? It doesn't make sense. It's pound for pound. It has the same physical impact. I read it in a textbook, all right? It's just drop it. Prove it. All right, we'll do. Come on. No, rack up a line of that pepper and see if you can start it. Go on, lad. That one there. Aye. Right, I'll do it right now. Get it right up your nose. Watch me go. If you come back that way, I'll give you a five on. How was the date with Archie? Tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let him touch your lady parts, did you, Raymundo? <laughs> what are you doing? No, nothing happened. I told you nothing had happened. Yeah, nothing happened. We did have a bit of a kiss, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Go you on. two were so perfect for each other. Raymundo, you saw some little tile at you. <laughs> you little red inside. Go and get out of it. Go on. <laughs> Job, it was only a kiss. Bollocks to that. Your faces totally had sex with each other. <laughs> right. It was kind of cool, but big deal. So we kissed. I can't believe you so chilled about it. Oh, well, you know. But Izzy, it was so... Girls, I need to talk to you. Toilets. Now. That's big enough, that. That's big enough, that. That's a bit more, mate. I had sex last night. <gasps> oh, yay! Oh, my God! <laughs> what was it like? Who's it with? Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I still can't tell you who he yeah. is. Yeah. It's just totally. You know, we just want everything not to be in the public domain at the moment. You know? Uh -huh. Oh, it was perfect. Got to his house about half eight-ish. He only lives in a sodding barn conversion. Oh, my God. I know. So when I got there, we had, like, a little bit of dinner. What did you eat? Oh, just a sandwich. You made you a sandwich? Yeah. Well, what kind of sandwich? With cheese and Branston. And anyway, he only goes and sticks on the Phil Collins album. Oh. Which <laughs> Phil Collins album? Well, the one with coming in the air tonight, on it? Obviously. Hey, Value. you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Mm. Doesn't matter anyway, because we were only halfway through the first song. And he took me upstairs. What was his bedroom like? Yeah, he's a bit weird about taking me in there. <laughs> so he laid me out on a towel on the landing, in front of the airing cupboard. And, well, you know the rest. <laughs> Classic Chloe. Ray, tell Chloe your news. <laughs> no, it's nothing compared to... Kissed that you last night. <laughs> oh my God. How? Well, we just put our faces together. <laughs> Obviously. It turns out it proper fancies me. Oh, oh. No, well, Archie's really hot. Yeah. Correct. Yes, yeah. So, what else happened? Well... There was a bit of touching, so we was kissing. That's <laughs> standard, you yeah. know. What else? You fingered me eight times. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. Fucking hell, Ray. Yeah. Look at your jeans. Over my jeans. Oh, that still counts. Totally still counts. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And, um, well, we're going on another date tonight. Really? really? Yeah. His parents are away, so um, I'm... Probably gonna be doing it. Holy shit, Ray, are you ready for that? <laughs> we should do a makeover. Definitely a makeover. What, no, 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 no. I don't no, do no, makeovers. No, no, no. That's no. not me. Oh, uh, well, you do now. So listen to me, okay? This is not just a kiss and a bit of a grope. It's more than a grope. Exactly. So think. Think, Ray. Think of how hot Archie is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's going to be naked trying to put his penis inside of you. Yeah, inside. Do you want to look your best? Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. I never want to have an orgasm if it looks like that. 
Are you sure this is even necessary? I mean... He kissed me. <laughs> so he must like me. Yeah, but he's got to be turned on by you, Ray. <laughs> you know? Otherwise, well... Otherwise, well, what? Well, listen, sometimes men, they can have problems, you know, being ready. <laughs> well, how often does that happen? Well, if they don't like something or if they feel uncomfortable. So please, will you hurry up and try on the outfit? Because I'm bored. Right. <laughs> Chloe, I think we should go with the black leggings. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right, actually. Ray, try these leggings on. Oh, right. What happened to your legs, Ray? I was in an accident when I was in France. Oh my God. Do they look horrible? You can't even really notice them. Do you think Archie will be turned off by them? Maybe we could put some makeup on them. Would that work? We could try. But if we're gonna put makeup on your legs, Ray, it seems mad not to let me do all your makeup properly. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Ray, um, why didn't you tell me? Hey, come here. If you want to make someone touch you, and you can't change the way you look. I guess the next best thing is to hide it with makeup, with clothes, with whatever you can find. I feel sick. <laughs> Maybe I should just cancel. No. Look at me. We haven't spent three hours making you look super foxy for you to walk away. <laughs> me and Cole will come in for the first 20 minutes. Make sure everything's okay. Well, you go first, foxy lady. <laughs> 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 Hi. Who are you? Who's that? Um, this is my uncle Kester. These are my friends, Chloe. Hi. Is he? Are you? Hello. Are you the uncle where I start with in France? Yeah, that, that's, that's right. Bonjour. Uh, peut-être que je peux pratiquer mon français avec vous? Um, I, I don't speak French when I'm in England, in case I forget how to speak English. All right. Oh, my God, Ray was just telling me about her accident. Chloe, I've got to go. It's lovely to meet you anyway. Bye. Ciao. Can I have a coffee, please? Thanks. Yo. What are you doing here? Just seeing Archer. He ain't coming. He said to say... Well, he said to say that, really. Right. Are you dressed like Chloe? I'm not dressed like Chloe. OK. See you later, then.
When Alexander the Great saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. That's Archie's favourite quote. And is, I'm weeping for the opposite reason. The world has conquered me. It's midday. I know. I'm just about to make a sausage casserole. Not hungry. I've got tiger bread. It's bread for dipping. What spread is it? No pack. Normal or unsalted? Normal? Obviously. I thought about it. I shouldn't have gone out. I deserve to be grounded. Right, well, um, since you've thought about it and you're sorry, I don't think you do need to be grounded. You can go out if you want. Just behave yourself, be responsible. Queen. Hey, it's for you. It's a young man. What? Care about yesterday. Come to take piss, have you? No. Just save it. I would never have done it if I knew you were supposed to be on a date. Oh. How very grown up of you. Look, I know you don't like me and that's fine, right? But I just... I think he's a dick for what he did. I didn't want you adding it to the very long list of things you ate about me. Finn. The list isn't that long. Archie's at work at the ledge centre right now. If I were you, I'd find him and I'd stick a fucking boot right up his ass. Is Tuesday. Yeah? Why don't you just tell me where Archie is before I wrap my fist right round your nose? He's in the weapons. What, it's 50p admission then? Fuck Because it looks like you're a pervert. No, uh, it, it, uh, let me explain. It's, it's just, it, I, I swear. Move. Please. Actually, Ray. move. No, no. Move. Ray. 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 Just. Ray. Please. Ray. Please. Please. Stop. Stop. Look at me. Just, just stop. Listen. Knew Ray. it. Ray. I knew you couldn't possibly like me. How could you do this to me? Why not just leave me alone in the first place? I know that I'm ugly and I know that boys don't like me, so why? Why make me think that you did? I'm really sorry, okay? Just... Oh my God. Did I do it? Did I make you gay? No, 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 of course not. Was it me? Just, 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 just wait. I had to be straight for a bit. And maybe. 
You don't know what it's like having this big bloody secret that could come out at any moment. It's horrible. I'm really sorry. What did you think when you saw my legs at the pool party? To know. Uh, thought you'd been in an accident or something. Did you think I was a freak? Why would I ever think that? Why don't you just be brave and tell people that you'd be free to be yourself? You won't have to worry all the time. Come out, Lincolnshire. I'm still in high school. That's not bravery, that's just asking for it. R.H. Tony said, what's freedom for the pike is death for the minnow. I think I believe that. Archie, you know, for a gayer, you really are a boring fucker sometimes. Do you know what? There is one thing you can do to make it up to me. Well, Chop said that Archie literally, like, begged you to forgive him. And then he asked you to go out with him and he just said no. Yeah, he did beg in that, but whatever. I'm just, I'm at a stage in my life where I am loving being single. That is so hardcore. Why didn't I think of that? It's fucking embarrassing how good I look some days. So... How long does it take for you to actually believe it? Oh, I think it's a lifelong project for everyone. <laughs> Ray! Danny, I think she'd like to say something to you. Sorry for hitting you with the tray. Repeatedly hitting you with the tray. That's all right. I should have remembered not to surprise you like that. I forgot you don't like it. Maybe some bodies weren't meant to be touched. Maybe my body wasn't meant to be stroked. Mm -hmm. And nibbled and kissed and held. <laughs> Maybe me and Mrs. Dewurst had more in common than I thought. Maybe I growled like her. Alone. Never being touched. Never feeling good. Caesar's wife was wearing flowing white robes which clung to her every curve like a gentle caress. The centurion pressed himself against her and she felt his passion, hard and ready. Marcus Antonius could no longer keep his hands off her perfectly curved rear. The firmness of his tumescence surprised her as she felt blindly behind her, wrapping her fingers around his shaft. What are you doing? I must have you, your highness. Let me show you what I mean. The Messiah is my sister. Ain't no king, man, she's my queen. Let me 
Well then, and we're back with a brand new episode of My Mad Fat Diary next Monday night at 10. And there's related help and support online alongside music from the series. And you can listen to our exclusive 90s mixtape. Go to e4.com slash mymadfatdiary. Next tonight though, more rudeness with the in-betweeners.